what is up guys gonna put some back again with another breakdown reaction video and today right the video is our arsenal premier league title contenders and this video is from uh, the don robbie sports channel shout out to don robbie fan man like don robert bro man like zordon as my ex special will call him but i'm very interested in this convo because I, I will give like my opinion as well to this and like I do like watching these guys just sit down and talk about the football as well so guys I don't want to keep away for too long let's get the video started this stuff soon Vamo I'm very interested I'm very interested I'm very very interested like like, like right now Round table talk. Big man Robbie fan. Matisse. Matisse. Very own Nicky Hawkins. We are here to discuss the big subjects of football. Big Robbie. I've got a question. One simple question I'm going to put to you, starting off with you, Matisse. Can Arsenal win the league this season? I'm going to let I like the info supporters that reaction to this because he just killed me, bro. He's just like, just burst out laughing, bro. <laughs> Robbie's looking at him like, I'm being serious. Yeah, 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 guys, let's get up and leave. Get up and leave, bro. <laughs> wow, wow, I knew the question, right? Because uh, that's the title of the like channel, uh, of the video is our uh, Arsenal Premier League title contenders. That's what's killing me the most because it's just really funny. It's so I'm flabbergasted. It's discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, it's a question worth asking because Arsenal, at the moment, they are top of the league. Um, they're playing great football. Yeah. Um, I mean, the game the other day... The, you know, the, the game the other day against um, Brentford, that's a tricky little game, early kickoff. You know, remember what happened last year? They literally done the opposite to what they did last year. They bullied Brentford yeah. and they played them off the park. And they've been playing teams off the, you know. I won't get me wrong, yeah. Like Arsenal, like this season, they've been balling, fam. These, these seven games, by the way, well, it's seven games in, like, won't forget that <laughs> seven games in they've been boiling out bro even like the performance they put out against United like like they, they were actually on it like the, the performances like they've been really good they've been playing really well you know, like to credit teams. to them for that they've been playing teams off the park all season even the game they lost against Man United alright a little bit of naive defending yeah, but well. I thought they yeah. played United off the yeah. park mm. but is there not a legitimate question but Demo, demo, the de, de, demo is but in Japanese. But there's a there's a huge but something that's light blue <laughs> that that's in Manchester. To ask, um, you know, I know there's other great teams out there, but to ask, can Arsenal win the league? A hundred percent, categorically, emphatically, no chance. <laughs> The words that he's using there, bro, coming out some big words, right? And and in my opinion, they have a chance. Every team has a chance to win the Premier League. The odds are different for uh, for all sorts of teams. Like uh, like which which team? Who's the worst team in the Premier League right now? Leicester probably. At, Jesus, they they won it six years ago. Okay, not not what is it from team um Bournemouth. But out of Bournemouth, like, like we would say, like the odds are like one in six thousand for, for for them to win the league. Man City are like one in five to, to win the league. Like or even like one in two to win the league. Like there's so many different odds, right? That teams can win the league, and Arsenal do have a chance of winning the league because again, like they're in the Premier League, and and again, it's just all the odds. But but when you, eh, but when you look at the City team, though, like it's tough, bro. Like eh, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Absolutely no. <laughs> not even an England part of my even in I don't think they're gonna win the league. I do not think they're gonna win no, they won't win the league, bro. This is, this is but they do have a chance. Definitely 
the Leicester five thousand to one bet. Yeah. If you want to put it on? That's mm. how this is set up. Five thousand to one bet. It's, 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 like, it's not that bad. I know. I'm being, I'm, I'm being that. extra triggery, but there's just no way. <laughs> like, I, I, I absolutely praise and 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 put put together what you guys have done this season has been really really impressive, and it's making you really strong assured contenders for you know finishing in the top four which yeah. is what the goal is yeah. but to go further than that you need squad depth mm. you need a, a better quality manager a mm. world-class manager you need so much more than a good start to, to, to even yeah, think about the title squad depth. you had I a mean, couple yeah, of injuries I mean, the, 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 the the... nah you haven't bro if James Lewis gets injured you, you put in Eddie and Kete on from Robbie come on Come on, Robbie. Brentford game the other day, yeah. all the guards. Eh? If Saliba gets injured, bro, who are you putting in there, fam? Come on, Robbie. Come on, brother. Come on, man. If nah. He's arguably been, you know, one of Arsenal's awesome. best players this season. Fabio Vieira comes in, and yeah. by the way, it's costs decent. thirty-four million. That's a decent it's backup. Not bad. I'm shout out to Dobby players for recommending me Fabio Vieira, but I've, I've known like he, he, when you told me about him, like he, he's just one of those guys who was like a, a gem, bro. When Arsenal got him, I was like, yeah, he's, he's actually a really good player. And comes in and has a great game and scores an absolute yeah, world. But, but you're eating at the Man City table, and mm. their their depth is Alvarez, and mm. you know they've got Gundogan, and they've Gundogan. got you know, five centre backs. Jeez, five, yeah, bro, like the five centre backs, all that they have, what. Nathan Ake, Man Mango Akanji is there now. John Stones, Laporte, Diaz, and then you then there's Kyle Walker, there's uh, Cancelo, bro. In the jeez, bro, like that that midfield depth, and they 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 they're bringing on Julian Arana Alvarez, fam. You get what I mean, fam? Like it's crazy. You guys, Inketia comes in, and he's a good player, but he's not Alvarez, and, and yeah. this is the difference here when you look at the two teams. It's just not even a comparison. Wait, Alvarez is second choice striker. I know he's yet to prove himself. I know, but Premier League. I mean, nah, Alvarez is sick, fam. You know, he's sick, Alvarez bro. He's so good. He, I know, but so his stature reminds me of like Aguero, like like Julian Alvarez is like stature. And his body type reminds me of like how Aguero was like, bro. How like Aguero was built, like. So, so you got, you got Haaland. You got Haaland, who's obviously is off the chart. Right? Erling Brown. But Alvarez is, you know, he's still got a, he started off well, by the way. Yeah. But, you know, he's still got to find his way. He does, his but way. he's setting records in South America. He looks so like, you, you, he looks if, like a, less, less Nah, he's a good player. Like, Haaland was missing. Mm. You know, you Alvarez can do that. 100%. On no player, but yeah. let's just say Haaland's out for six months. Would Alvarez be able yeah. to represent? Yes. You know, yes, 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 yes. They didn't have Haaland all these years and they still won the league. They sometimes didn't even have De Bruyne injured and they still won the league. Yeah. This is Manchester City. This is Pep Guardiola. They always find a way. It's it's good to run up top against uh, Liverpool and Anfield and score. <laughs> That's not that, bro. Was it last season? Was it last season where 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 Gundogan just just were, literally just was like, listen, right, listen, I I am the main man here today. I am gonna win you guys the league, bro. And man just come out. And I'm thinking, I think it was the 2021 season, wasn't it, where he just came out and nuts, just just literally won the just literally won the league for City by himself, bro. Like, yeah, it's, it's one of those ones. The, 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 the levels are just, they're not the same. Tactically, Different levels. Or, or quality wise, there's just no comparison between the two teams. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I that's agree with Matisse, man. The reason why you won't win the league is not because you're a very good side, because you are a very good side. It's because Man City. And yeah. That's it. And I know this because I'm a Liverpool fan and I've watched us play some of the best football I've ever seen us play in my entire life. Yes. And we still didn't win the league. Even by a point. Like, it's just Man City are a machine. Bro, even my bro, these guys, right? These guys, Liverpool, they, I think they were like ninety six or ninety seven points, and they still lost the league. Like, oh, and and it's the only one time, yeah, where a team has gone that many points, right, and they've not won the league. If it was previously, like, if it was in like um, 2017, 18, 19, um, 2015, 2010, 2005, 2006, they would have won the league, bro. But it's just that one season. <laughs> Bro, it's nuts, fam. It's nuts. And then when you look at last season as well, like the, the final game of the season, where um when the when Man City were losing two 0 to um uh to Aston Villa, and they came back, bro. Like it's ridiculous, bro. Even it's happened to us with United, bro. We we, we lost to them via goal difference, bro. They they jamming, fam. Like team, <laughs> and I love watching Arsenal play football, but you just just don't have what it takes to compete with them right now. No. They have yeah. a squad depth of 22 players 
that can all fit and interchange. Mm. We have a, a, a system where only their players only play about 20 games a season because they're that, they've got that much depth. They can mm. rotate the, the players throughout the season. It's an incredible machine, well yeah. oiled. It's the perfect football team, Man City. Really. Another, so, yeah. thing, okay. another point. I, I, I don't think that. another point to add. Right, is Arsenal have a very young team. Mm. Saka, you know, Odegaard, uh, Smith Rowe, Martinelli. These guys are young. Which it's what I said in my preview as well. Yeah, in my, 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 my prediction. So, Manchester City have experienced veterans, winners, where. You play. I oh, know they gave us a couple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and and. I love what they do. They give you players. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't that just show the gulf between the two teams that they're able to give Sterling to us and he's our best best player, mm. almost best attacker. Exactly. So give like. you a Zinchenko and a Jesus and they're your best players almost. Also yeah. happy to give them to competitors. Happy, happy. Like, yeah, happy. Yeah, oh yeah, just take him. I don't need him. There you go. Like. <laughs> The famous quote from Beer Fest here, have a BJ on me. <laughs> These guys, bro, like this, this, bro, they give away Sterling. <laughs> right here, Sterling to Chelsea, bro. And this, nah, come on, man, Robbie, come on. Yeah. Why do you think that Arsenal can beat the power of Man City? This, this is a very young team. Yeah. We don't is. know what's going to happen That's very this true. season. They've got a break right in the middle of it, which is a month and a half. That's a long break. Yeah. And that's, you know, if Arsenal can get to that break in a similar position than they are now, and then you hit this World Cup, and then you start yeah, again, and they can start, I think it's possible. Yeah. I'm not saying it's going to happen. And I'm not saying, actually a yeah, that's why I said it's possible. To take into account because I've been saying this right from the start, that, you know, this is a really crazy season it's going to yeah. be a and, 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 and it's, like, it's like a season that you're looking at and you're like I only really seven games in until it finishes how it's going to end up because it's unprecedented We've come on Robbie only seven games in the, the crazy season was the one where United and, 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 and Liverpool like United lost 6-1 to Tottenham um, they um, uh, Liverpool lost 7-2 to Aston Villa that that day you were like that's a crazy season. right now it's not even a crazy season like, what, what, what the hell what, what, what is this it's not a crazy season. Come on, man, Robbie. We've had a situation like this before where, like you said, literally a six-week break in the season. Yeah. So we don't know what players are going to... Yeah, it's the first time that's happened. Well, normally, 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 when, game, yeah, yeah, when yeah, players yeah. come back after World Cups, normally, they're shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Back, back. You know, but ha Haaland's not going to World Cup. Yeah, He'll be nice and toasty over the winter. Mm. Do you know what I mean? How many goals already, oh, lads? Yeah, he's had, he's had six, seven games, got 12 goals, goals 11 yeah. goals. This is the reason why they're going to win the league. Mm. And like what Matu said, they've already won the league without this man, and now they have him. He's the final piece of this puzzle. They're going to go on to push for every single cup this season because that's what they're capable of doing without a shadow of a doubt. Definitely like. Uh, but would it put more strain on a team like even a Man City that, yeah, Haaland's not going, but literally every other else, everybody else in their team will be going. Right. That's yeah. what the depth said. Right. Yeah. Mm. No, but even even the squad, half of them will be going as well. Right. And then when they come back from that, they then got the big pressure for Manchester City, for instance, what? of the Champions League. Yeah. Which I don't care what you know. We had a City fan the other day when we were doing the watch along. He's like saying the league's more important. It's not right now. I feel for Man City that the pressure is going to be on them really heavily this year yeah. to win the Champions League. They've got Haaland in place now, got... so don't think you know they'll have players come back. But they would have had a really you know tough. You know, play every game, them. train every day. And then come back. If, if there's any chance of Man City even looking like they're not going to win the league, they will go again in January. And they can because yep. they have the net spend to yep. do so. Mm. They have not even spent any money. Yep. Yep. And, and what we have to look at with Arsenal is that last season, when the going got tough, in the top four race, they went to Newcastle and they went to Tottenham and they crumbled and they crumbled. And they crumbled, well, that yeah. Is what well, isn't that not, is it, don't you think there's a little bit of a different Arsenal? It is a yeah. different Arsenal. Like, that's the difference between now, top four to getting in top four. But that's not the difference between fifth and winning the league. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, winning the league, as, as Doyle will know, you're playing one team players, next team players, and it is literally head-to-head so head relentless. relentless. That's yeah. Kind of yeah. Pressure. yeah, that's the thing. It's just, it's just, it's just what I was going to say. Like with it, with, When you look at the, um, the whole thing with Liverpool and Man City, right? these last four seasons, like how... Their head to heads have been going like, if 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 Liverpool right beats Man City, 
um, at uh, Anfield and um, or at the Etihad, Man City are winning the league. And then when if 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 Liverpool be Man City, right, or in like um, in in Anfield or at the Etihad, Liverpool win the league, bro. Like it's always like that because the the main two teams, right, like who are in it for for the league, like if they be if 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 one team beats the other, that team that just beat the other team are winning the league, bro. That's how I always see it. Like and we, like Arsenal right now, right, they have not played against Liverpool, they've not played against Spurs, they've not played against Chelsea, they've not played against Man City. And the thing is that the two main teams, right, they need to be careful of right now is Liverpool and um, Man City, bro. Like, Man City are a completely different animal to Man United. Don't be just, just, like... I, I guarantee you this right now. Like, again, if they're in the title, like, 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 title race, bro, they, they, they have to beat the big dog. They have to beat, like... That champion for them to actually like say okay like we can actually do this too so it's it's it, 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 bruv big man thing it's not looking good bruv shot to castillo fam ramsdale mm. um saka yeah smith rowe martinelli martinelli, martinelli. they're not going to go to the world cup and play every game they'll probably be speed squad players jesus I don't, I don't know. He's not been picked. Play, does he play for Brazil? Yeah. Well, look, Jesus, he, he's not with the squad for... Martinez not been picked as well. Break. Even, Although even... The, um, the uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, we don't know if he will go or not. I think Saliba's definitely going to be yeah. in the French squad. I mean, they'll have players away with international. You know I mean? Xhaka will be gone and people like that. But like you said, they're, they're, not they're probably play. not going to play the, as, as much as, say... The city, I mean, De Bruyne will play every game, right? Yeah. And, you know, and what sort of toll will that take that maybe then shifts that little margin? No. And I'm grabbing there's no, there's no little margin, Robbie. <laughs> this, right, this is 10 points. It, it shifts that big margin there. <laughs> the, the, you know what I mean? Because you know what football's like. There's just look, when you've lost the title, it's been by small margins. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes little thing that knocks that margin off. I mean, the but then you know, City come back and have to get going again. They never, the World Cup they never finals, fail to do it. They never fail. The World Cup finals on the December. Yeah. I mean, the we, first we game. Start, we first start, game back for the team day. Yeah. Yeah. First that's a week. Yeah. That's a week from coming back. Are they all going to be available? Are we going to be looking at B squads? They're going to lose a few games. They definitely. Gonna, Man City will lose a few games this season. So will mm. Arsenal. So will Liverpool. All these teams, but they but they never fail in picking up when they slack. They will mm. lose a few games and then they will be relentless to 15. Yeah. That's what Man City do, believe me. This, I've, I've is had this you your challenge from this year, Liverpool? No, no, I don't think we're no. at all. We're in a, a, resta a rebuild stage because we haven't spent the money when we should have with FSG to buy players like Jude Bellingham when we could have had some success this season. We started with Nunes. It's not quite worked out yet. I don't think that we're going to replicate the, the levels that we've done over the last five seasons. I do think we're not going to have... We're not going to have a terrible season, but we're not going to we're not going to press down. Let me ask this question. Uh, what, about, what about you? Do you think you can? No, actually, we have no chance. <laughs> well, you can believe no chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, no, not a hope for us. I, I don't think they're going to have a challenger. I uh, really don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. run away. Yeah, yeah. Run away. yeah it's just going to be a runaway. Arsenal's away. A team better than City's B team. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. By a mile. If you to go through it, you know. By a mile, bro. Is it better? But, think... the, but the, the reality is, they don't play uh, an A and a B. They rotate them so yeah. much. So that yeah. It just it just yeah, like 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 basically, bro. <laughs> you take out you take out Ruben Ruben Diaz. The post there. <laughs> Bro, you take out Mares, there's like Ben Arnold Silva, Philip or Phil Foden there, bro. It's completely different, bro. It's completely different. Who they play? That's yeah. what that manager's done in that team. He's created a philosophy and a structure, and they all play along and believe in the message. I also, that he's got I also out. think Tottenham are in the. They'll be a, I think no, it's, I, I think Arsenal top four. I don't. I don't think Chelsea get in top four. I think it's going to be Arsenal. Well, um, actually, I was going to ask a question. Okay. Your top four. Everyone, give me your top four. Okay. So Let's for me, for me, I think City going to win the league. Liverpool are going to come second, but nowhere near close to City. I think it's going to be Arsenal and then Tottenham. Um, I have City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea. Okay. City. Well done, wait a minute. No Arsenal in the top four. I'll give you maybe Europe League. <laughs> yeah, no, I think there's a hazard. City, Arsenal, Tottenham. Where's Liverpool? Liverpool. Okay. Whoa. I was going to say, oh, yeah, I can accept that, lads. Yeah, yeah, I can accept that, lads. Wow. I'll go. City. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah, City, Arsenal. Oh, that's what it is. Liverpool. Liverpool. 
And Spurs. Spurs. Yeah. Arsenal second. I'm not putting my United in, in, in the top four. I'm realistic. Really, I, I just feel. I feel what Nicky. I, I, bro, like, United second. Yeah, 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 United you know, we still need some more players in that in that team. There needs to be some signings on in January to, to make up. So again, yeah, I do agree with it, but I think the <clears throat> it's either Chelsea or Arsenal that's gonna to get top four. And for me, I did pick Chelsea to get a, um over Arsenal again just because of the whole thing at the end when it comes to um when it comes to the to, to crunch time. You know, when when the pressure's on, Chelsea have got have got have got guys that have been there and done it. Guys who've been to a Champions League final and 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 have that the the most like amount of pressure on them and for them to actually perform. While Arsenal still have the the younger guys, so we'll see about that. <clears throat> Nicky said it has a lot in it, man. This is going to be a different season. Is it? There's going to be a different. You watch when we come back, you'll see teams losing to certain teams, and you'll be like, what? That's the Premier League. Well, this is it's Mo Salah actually. Remember the the Afcon last season when he came back, he just wasn't the player. Was he wasn't the player. You can say that about. Yeah. I remember when Saka came back from the World Cup. It took him about two months to get going. Yeah. You know, um, it's on, on, it, sorry from the Euros. I, I mean, it's it does take its toll on players, and I yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a strange one. But mm. then I guess you made a good point as well when you say that you know. Come January, City can go again. But listen, what do you guys think out there? Can Arsenal win the league? Yeah, we do it. <laughs> <laughs> can Arsenal win the league? I don't know, um, it's a simple question. Yes or no? Man, like to Don you Robert. Guys. Let us know in the comments if you think they can. If they can't, who do you think is going to win it? Um, and is there another outsider? Could it be Spurs that could probably creep up and win the league in this season? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe to VR and become a member and we'll see you on the next one shout out to Don Robbie fan man like Don Roberts but yeah guys like again for me I, I don't think that they, they can win the Premier League this season you know they, 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 they have a chance but I don't think that they will do it but anyway guys that's been the video if you have thoughts comes to concern you do comment down below like it's for your boy don't forget to subscribe guys I've been interested breaking down React, re reacting, reacting, so so having like a little imaginary conversation with the guys too about Arsenal. Um, if if there are Premier League title contenders, guys, and I'm signing out. Keep it real. Peace. Thumbs up.